12th of May, 2024. Well, we meant to have had this uh, solar storm this weekend. People seeing the aurora borealis in England. Didn't notice it here, but uh, apparently it was uh, it was possible. I don't know. I had a look. <laughs> yeah, continuing clearing the land. It's only these little bits here that I've got to do left now. It seems to have taken forever this year. I think we had a lot of rain. Hello, there's a little doggy here. Good morning, Flora. You still half asleep? You're getting a bit in the morning light, aren't you, darling? Hey? Yeah, lovely little lovely little thing. Yeah. So uh did notice the uh, the internet it seemed a bit temperamental. Much more than usual. Might have been an effect of the electromagnetic uh, fluxations, eh? <laughs> so been gathering up raking up the uh, the cuttings. Ah oh, should be nearly done very soon. But it's all had a haircut. This always amazed me. You can see the paths that the ants make. That's the footfall of thousands of ants. Gathering and collecting all the grass seeds. Industrious little things there. Quite amazing, really. Let's <laughs> actually see the ground now. I keep picking up stones as I'm going. They batter the machine. I put them at the foot of the trees here and they, they help with the collecting the condensation. So what goes into the trees, I suppose, the water, where it collects. That's a good way to uh, store the stones. If I need to use a load of stones for anything, I just go and collect them at the base of the trees. Well, it's all looking very uh, manicured, isn't it? So here I was, boasting away about uh, how when you're fasting, now, when I'm fasting, I don't get sniffles. <laughs> Immediately after doing the video, I came down with this pseudo cold. I say pseudo cold because I don't know, do I? <laughs> it could have been hay fever. You see, that's the thing, I don't know the difference. I was uh, feeling tickling in my throat as I was inhaling the dust and seeds and pollen, God knows what, so there is always that chance that it was a, a reaction to that, which you know, is a possibility. Anyway, God, I felt like shit for three days. <laughs> really bad. And uh, it seemed to evolve very quickly. You know, it didn't stay in one place for long, so it didn't get a hold like flu or anything. Don't know. And if I'm honest, I have had a bit of one of those episodes um, earlier in the year. But I tell myself, right, so with the fasting, you're boosting your immune system. And perhaps if I wasn't doing that, I might have come around with a, with a full bone flu. I don't know. Can't light this off though, can you? And then uh, this uh, other affliction that I have. I had this terrible eczema. I put it down to unresolved trauma, stress, and uh, whatever the cause. 
that was uh, that was not this part here. I haven't raked it yet. It's where the trucks used to live. Yeah, and my uh, my eczema. I managed to uh, come across the uh, Jose Silva Jose Silva Alpha Reinforcement Exercise because this eczema it was uh, what they do say it's life threatening and I can see why because it drives me crazy it's horrible I get it all over my neck and it ended up all over my face I couldn't sleep I mean I didn't sleep for the best part of a year the last time I had a, a bout of it Normally it would last you know, six weeks, eight weeks. This last lot I got a couple of years back, I had it for a year. My uh, head, neck area was so inflamed, burning, I could feel flames licking around my ears. I can't describe it any other way. I was in the inferno. Your brain's inflamed. So I was having rage fits several times a day. Couldn't put it away. Absolute hell. And I uh, guess you <laughs> obviously questioning existence and, you know, was it all those little animals I was mean to when I was a disturbed child um, coming back to punish me? Yeah, maybe. Um, but whatever. Uh, I found that whatever I ate, everything I was eating was provoking it because I'd have something to eat and I'd have a flare up straight away. In the end, and quite paradoxically, having been a vegetarian on and off for most of my life, I found that the only thing that I could eat that didn't really provoke a reaction was raw um, was red meat. Grilled. <laughs> and uh, so I was, I was resorting to doing that. I couldn't eat cheese. Certainly couldn't eat cheese uh, uh, or curries or any of those sort of things. <laughs> Forget it. But anyway, uh, I came across this uh, alpha reinforcement exercise. Jose Silva, a man that understood very well the mechanisms of trauma, and uh, obviously he he managed to uh, find a a system that overcame these things. It worked. I I, I did it three times a day for a couple of weeks, and the eczema went gone. And it never returned for two years, and that was the biggest uh, uh, payoff for experimenting with something new that I would never have tried otherwise. And uh, yeah, it went. Oh, well, that came back last week. I've been doing the, the, the Alpha Reinforcement religiously twice a day since I had the eczema. Well, I started doing it three times a day again. Because it says on the exercise, if you have a medical condition, you need to do this three times a day. So I started doing it three times a day. And the eczema sort of subsiding. Well, I hope it goes, because I can't be dealing with that. <laughs> uh, the chicken coop. So I was quite proud of my little chicken ass. Looks like a space invader when you look at it from a particular angle. And... Uh, my lovely little trucks that I named after me mum and my gran. <laughs> they just disappeared. Right into thin air. Gone. Uh, about, about two months ago. Just completely vanished. Uh, and since then I have cleared the land. As you can see. Didn't find a feather. <laughs> Not a thing. No. Around the same time, say around the same time, over a, a, a space of a couple of days, um, my female cat, Tom One and Tom Two's mum, she disappeared, never to return. Well, if you look here, I've got a two metre barbed wire topped chain link fence uh, it goes right round the property and it's unbroken now interestingly the barbed wire on this one two three sections here does look like something might have uh, pressed it down you see where I'm going with this 
You see, whatever took the chickens, well, either has the power of flight or it can hop up over a fence with uh, enough agility to pull that off with a chicken. And we do have a creature here that I've seen years ago. I saw one here coming home late at night. It's called a genet. Taxonomy, genetta, genetta. Fascinating creature. I heard it's the largest member of the mucilid family, if that's correct. But it's, um, yeah, kind of a dog-faced cat. <laughs> it's got shorter legs than a cat, longer neck. Great big dark banded, dark and light banded bushy tail and a, a face a little bit like a, like a martin, almost doggy sort of weird fox like, even um, polecat like, and it is I suppose a bit like a giant pointy faced polecat, but huge thing. Apparently they can, uh, they can, they, well, they can give a dog a really hard time. Uh, they can kill cats. They love your chickens. That's a possibility, isn't it? It might have been a, a. You get these big falcons round here. That's the name they call them in Portuguese, falcão. They're kind of like hawks. And I'm not sure what the Latin taxonomy and the the, the species. Identification, I don't know, I, I could find out. Yeah, fascinating stuff. So yeah, off, off they went, no more eggs. <laughs> Poor things. No, I've got to uh, do a bit of a, a jiggle about with me watering here. My kumquat doesn't seem very happy. We might have to see how we can uh, do something about that. Yeah. The funny farm. Just harvested some bananas. You can maybe see a little bunch there sticking out on the corner. They're not ready yet, but the ones I harvested are. I've even been eating them. Tiny little things. I had a bloke that said, you'll never do it, you won't grow bananas here. And he lived here. Wish you could see me sitting there eating him. <laughs> hey, little victories. Still chaos here though. <laughs> so much to do. Better than being bored. Well, not a bad morning. And uh, not been wiped out by a coronal mass ejection yet, so oh yeah, that was the that's what's left of the bananas. Hmm, the ones that were too small to eat. Cats puked up a bit of badly digested rat. Haven't you, Tom? Well, you see. You turned up two years ago, uh, two years ago, you turned up a year ago, in April. You two pussy cats. That's Tom 1. Alright Tom, this is Tom 2. Tom 2's the friendly one. Alright you Tom. Yeah, lovely little boy. Hey. Throwing up bits of rat everywhere, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you survived, didn't you? Hey, pair of little lions. Beautiful. I'm going to have a coffee.